So I'm down at the rabbit cage. The uh, we have a eight hole box that we built this past uh, late summer, I guess. We ended up with a bunch of rabbits, a little bit more than what we wanted, but um, so we were kind of forced to make do with what we had. So I'm gonna turn the camera on real quick and show you guys what we built. This was like. I saw a guy on the internet who uh, built one, and I just drew this together um, basically really fast. I'm going to take the one apart and reuse it. I just does a couple things in it that I want to change to help with us cleaning up. But uh, here. So this is our a four hole that we built this past, like I said, late summer. Um, there's a guy uh, out in Canada that had one and I built it. I am going to change some things. So to help clean up this area right here, we're going to add a door. This is going to be a door here. This is a uh, uh, east side of the building. So the sun comes up. You guys can, I don't want to shine it in your face, but um, you can see in the winter time, this side's going to get a bunch of morning sun and then um, you know, it's going to be, I just fed them. So yesterday what I did is we have, so you guys can see we have a heater or uh, we have feeder and then a heater and this goes up to a surge protector. It's up kind of hidden out of the weather up there. And so I'm going to, this actually, I'm take it little peek in there so this piece right here you guys can see is from our fence posts that we used i have i saved it and i just kind of mocked up a little weather screen i guess you would be the purpose um my wife was really adamant about making sure that this stayed out of the weather because in the middle when I, the, this is a that's about 16 inches off the ground and i'm pretty sure that we're going to end up with snow so i'll be cleaning this out we do have some left over three quarter and this one of our dads right there we don't really have a name for him um but you can see so i am going to change this design also and what i'm going to do is this is going to be I'm going to back up a little bit so you guys can see. So this is going to be one box for one rabbit. So we're going to have four rabbits. So that will be one unit, two, three, four. And then I'm going to build it. I'm going to take this one apart and reuse it. And then there's going to be another four box unit. So, my thought is that we're going to have four girls, maybe six, I'm not sure yet, but we're going to have girls segregated and boys segregated, and then we'll just take them, you know, we'll move them around as we want for the, the blending what we want. We're looking for a specific fur with a specific eyes. Um, the specific fur is more for... The specific fur is more for me. Um, I think there's a unique fur and I want to use that for, you know, mittens and gloves and hats and stuff like that. And the blue eye color that we were trying to get is more for selling people that enjoy rabbits. I think the blue eyes, um, you know, is, is a pretty cool trait. We had a couple of rabbits. We've sold quite a few that have blue eyes. And different color fur but we have a you know I'm looking for a very unique fur color so we're gonna try to do that and we're also trying to get bigger rabbits for um, for meat you know we use them for meat um, I'm not a big fan of it but you know it's I got you can get used to it it's it's chicken it's you know you get used to all of it I've only had rabbit twice now 
and I'm pushing 50, 56. I'll be 56 in January. This is November, and I've only had rabbit twice. So, you know, it's a new thing for me, but it's, you know, with everything going on, with everything, we, we're preppers out here. We're uh, homesteaders, and we want to make sure that we have food for us and for our families. We have uh, quite a few family members here, and, you know, push come to shove, um, you know, we have plenty of grass around here. We have plenty of, uh, you know, things for them to eat if uh, if need be. Oh, look, I found my gloves. They fell out of my pocket yesterday. And I've been looking for them. Well, actually, they fell out of my pocket a few days ago. And I couldn't find them because they kind of blend in with what's going on out here. It's, you know, and I've been busy. We're getting ready to, this week is going to be the cleanup week. We're putting stuff away. We've been doing it for a while, but today, along with getting the the footprint laid out, we're going to be putting stuff away and uh, getting all our stuff ready for winter. I, we've been, we've been pretty lucky this day, this uh, past week that um, they're calling for 60s right now, which is really unusual for November here. Last, last year at this time, we had snow in the ground. So I'm really thankful that um, I got some in my ear. I'm really thankful that um, you know it's we're having the weather that we're having right now because it helps us out immensely. So uh, I'll get finish up the rabbits and then go have some breakfast.